Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 1000 Black Dragons and this video was done on my Iron Man account. Safe spotting the whole entire thing in Taverly Dungeon and released into the game February 27th, 2002. I wanted to choose the most nostalgic place to kill these Black Dragons in honor of its nostalgia in general. This is one of the oldest monsters in RuneScape and definitely one of the most underrated dragons of them all. Usually you really only hear about green dragons or brutal dragons or king black dragons or Vorkath, but no one really thinks or talks about the normal black dragon. And since this was all done on the Iron Man account, I did have all of the drops that this dragon has, at least most of them. So as you can see in the bank tab, we had all the placeholders and how we were going to track all the loot for this video was on the RuneLite client combined with just collecting the black dehyde and of course the bones after every single kill as soon as I had a thousand hides and a thousand dragon bones I knew the video was complete and at the same time I was able to do some medium clue scrolls on my main account so this method was really relaxing really afk just using a dorgashan crossbow at first and I was also considering trying out a rune crossbow later on but I decided against that and actually switched to a magic shortbow imbued which was around kill 500 so half the video was done with a dorgashan crossbow build the other half with a magic shortbow imbued. And as you can see, you know, this method for killing black dragons in Taverly's uh, really laid back. There's three different safe spots. One of them is at the very south, one of them is at the east, and the other one is at the west. For this video, I was using the west safe spot as I advise anyone to. Uh, the south one is good, but there are Zamrock mages which can attack you if you're really low combat, and I have seen some purists here safe spot with range, so it's probably not the best safe spot to use. I think the one that I chose was the best for this area. And with a max hit of 50 with dragon fire, an anti dragon shield or just using an anti fire sip is definitely recommended here. But since I was always safe spotting and usually uh, paying attention whenever I'd pick up my loot, because as you can see, whenever you pick up your drops, usually the other dragon that's nearby will start attacking you or at least uh, walk towards you to try to attack you. And that's where you just have to flick on your prayer to protect from melee or magic, whatever you're feeling. Uh, it's going to use. There was a point in time where I did put on my dragon fire shield. Uh, I do have one on this Iron Man account and go figure I actually got it from these very black dragons just about three years ago on kill count 240. So you know I, I actually really do like these dragons for more reasons than one. And yeah you know there's nothing wrong with using it. Uh, you will save yourself a lot of damage even if you are safe spotting for the occasional times that the dragons do hit you. But since I was safe spotting with range uh, DPS does matter so I went with the armadillo book while I was using the Dorgashan crossbow. I kept the inventory simple, just Falador teleport runes inside my rune pouch and maybe a couple lobsters if I got hit. But there are poisonous spiders as you make your way to this location. So you will see later on after getting poisoned a few times on my way back, I did bring an anti-venom because, you know, getting poisoned ruins your whole inventory. You have to bank again and you have to do it all over. So anti-poison or serpentine helmet, definitely worthwhile. And you do need 70 agility to use the short shortcut in order to get to these black dragons in Taverly, or of course you can have the dusty key. Uh, if you have a dusty key, it'll take a lot longer to get here, but nevertheless, you can get here still. And something that was nice to see early on was hard clue scrolls, 1 in 128. Um, I believe we almost got up to 10 for this video, I think it was more close to 7 or so, but yeah, a lot of hard clues during this one. For the first 300 kills, um, I did not actually complete the first clue that I got, but after that, I was completing them as soon as I got them. I just had to do a few things on my main during the first part of this video. Now let's get into the drops of these black dragons. So these specific dragons in Taverly actually have their own drop table compared to other black dragons in the game. And unfortunately, this is one of the lowest tier uh, black dragon that you can kill. I mean, it is the oldest. It's level 227. But there's also a level 247 dragon and uh, those are in the Revenant Caves. Those were released into the game November 23rd, 2017, 15 years after the original ones. And really just looking at the drop table from both of them, all I can say is the only difference is instead of getting Mithril 2Hs and Mithril Battle Axes like you get here, uh, those are Addy in the Wilderness. And you also occasionally get Rune Medhelms, Rune Kite Shields um, in the Wilderness. The only Rune item that you can expect in Taverly is the Rune Longsword. I do also notice that the quantity of Rune Knives are um, about multiplied by 
five in the wilderness black dragons so higher risk higher reward i wouldn't recommend killing black dragons in the revenant caves it is very very dangerous probably one of the most busy pking hotspots ever because it's in the middle of the rev caves right at the entrance almost and yeah it can be very deadly now other than those alkables that i mentioned you can expect fire runes law runes blood and air runes from these black dragons uh which isn't too bad i mean i wish they did drop a little bit more of the quantity you know you're only going to be looking at like 10 laws 15 bloods and 75 airs but if you do kill a thousand you know those runes will add up over time so i was keeping track of all of that and even though black dragons do drop coins i think uh the priority is more so towards the dps so you can get a faster kill which is why i was using the archer ring imbued instead of the ring of wealth but as you can see the coin stack was still tracked uh very easily and also reached 14 million range xp all from these loot videos none of that was chinned or cannon so hell yeah a lot of safe spotting since i did do dragon slayer 2 dragon and javelin heads was a drop that i can't expect uh, it's a 1 in 21 and it's uh, one of the most valuable drops that you can get here so they are important to pick up the ammunition doesn't stop there though you can also expect adamant javelins in a quantity of 30 and 16 adamant poison darts which i don't know if people used them back in the day but i know that you know nowadays we have blowpipes so you can always probably throw them in there although i don't know if the poison really helps because i think it's already venomed or something i don't know but it's very interesting nevertheless and as the video progresses you know you can always expect the uncommon rare drops such as the rune bar the loop and tooth key we always see those every video um something i really haven't touched on much is the insold heads uh you can of course get those too which is good for prayer xp i mean if this was an iron man doing these dragons And of course, some nice prayer XP from not only the bones, but the insold heads too. Bring some high alks with you and you can take care of all those alkables and end up just safe spotting and getting some nice XP over time. I think one reason why you don't see a lot of people killing these black dragons is mainly because uh, they're just not as popular as they once were. So many new dragons have come into the game and especially with diaries being a thing, not only with Brimhaven red dragons, but also any dragon in the wilderness. And then of course you have the amulet of Avarice, which collects everything uh, noted in the Revenant Cave, so you have those dragons there that get affected. There's not a lot of reason to kill these Taverly Black Dragons, but I will say something that kind of made me smile is that although there isn't a lot of reason to kill them, there's still a lot of people doing this. I had to hop worlds at least two dozen times at uh, certain points during the week because there was always someone safe spotting. They didn't seem like bots either or real world traders. They all seemed like genuine players just either doing a Slayer task or just doing this because they felt like killing them like I was. I'm sure everyone has their own reason. Coming to a close here though, uh, I did receive a few gems during the video, but you know, gem bag not worth bringing here in my opinion. The highlight for me for this one was as always the hard clue scrolls, and just like you guys enjoyed the live commentary from the terror dog video, I will be doing live commentary when I open up all the hard clue scrolls on this account in this video. One rare that I did manage to pick up that I was surprised to see was a rune 2h uh, according to the old school wiki that is one in 2700 as it goes for a drop and a big shout out to the old school wiki um i did have a few suggestions saying that i should add every monster that i do um in the wiki link in every description of my video so i'm going to start doing that so anytime you want to know more about the monster that uh, you're watching the video of feel free to check out the description i'll always have it linked to the wiki page so that'll give you every detail about whatever it is that i may be showing you guys that day Day. Towards the end, I also encountered an elite clue scroll, but unfortunately, I was unable to complete it. Uh, just had a few steps that needed a lot of questing, and you know, didn't really want to do some questing. So, with all that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Loot from 1,000 Black Dragons has been completed. Uh, unfortunately, no visage. Uh, did not really hit the rare drop table that much at all, but it was really enjoyable. Uh, I was all AFK'd while I was on my main. I'd say half of it was on stream. The other half of it was off stream and now it is time to do the price check so i'm gonna go ahead and get into that and then we're gonna do the live commentary uh with the hard clue scrolls we have over 500 javelin heads 4,000 adamant javelins close to 1,000 darts 100k cash the hides the bones and 20 insold heads so let's go ahead and see how much we got from 1,000 black dragons everything coming out to be approximately 7.1 mil rounded 
down to, well, 7.1 mil. Very nice. Uh, that's actually more than I expected. Certainly more than you'll make from Green Dragons. And I think the reason for that, obviously, is because of the price of Black Dragonhide. It's a lot of prayer XP and a lot of crafting XP for my Iron Man. I definitely will be using all of that. And overall, this video took just about 35 to 40 hours to complete. Live commentary time. Seven hard clue scroll caskets. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Pretty decent. Uh, yeah, it was unfortunate we couldn't do that elite earlier, but it happens. All right, pretty average from that one. Oh, very nice. Uh, Ceridoman page and an Armadil plate body. Guthix Dehyde Boots. All right. Don't know if we have those, but that's a really nice item. 759k from that one. Three more to go. Let's see. All right. Guthix Plate Legs. That's pretty cool. Let's check out the bank, see if we have any of this stuff. Uh, I know I have... Oh, so I have Zamrock Dehyde Boots, but I do not have Guthix. So that is a unique. That's pretty cool. That will add to the Guthix collection. Uh, moving on to the Alkables, we have some more Rune Plate Bodies. Uh, plate skirts, stuff like that. And yeah, we have the Guthix plate legs, the plate body. That is a unique, so that's good. So if we go to the Sarah book, here it is. Let's put that in here. Oh, I already had it. Okay, well, useless then. And just some more food that we can bank and some runes and stuff like that. So, all right, two more clues left. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Another Guthix item, that's nice. Mostly harmless, alright, those will come in handy. And last but not least, let's see our third age kite shield right here. Uh, imagine how cool that would have been. Anyway, yeah, okay, pretty standard. Uh, let me pull up Rune Light. Overall loot from 7 Hard Clue Scrolls is 1.37 mil, so we'll round that up to 1.4. And yeah, the overall loot from the 1,000 Black Dragons was 7.1 mil. Uh, that's not too bad. Originally, this was actually going to be 3,000, but that was going to take a little too long, and I'm trying to do more 1,000 things, so we'll see uh, if maybe in the future we'll do more dragons. I think the only ones left we have is medals at this point, and then, of course, the Revenant ones, so... Yeah, either way, the Guthix Helm was unique, so we'll take that, and the bank is getting very full on this account, so I'm gonna have to clean this out one of these days. Anyways, guys, I do appreciate you watching the video. Thank you very much for your continued support. Uh, I will see you guys next time with loot from 1000 medium clue scrolls i'm still working on that it's taken me a while but we will get it done and after that uh, i do have some nice ideas so until next time mr no sleep out